If anyone can convince Vin to do this, we're ready to go. Is he part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. I wasn't able to convince Gwyn. Figures. Don't worry about it. We've got bigger problems. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. The guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Safi? Yep. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up Safi out on the patio. So, uh, remind me what the plan is again, Alexa. Mm, tiny questions. We're gonna corner Lucas It's really Romero not a good time, Loretta. And demand. I, I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? You don't have to be good to be successful. Just... Persistent. Yes. Talent and persistence are what led to my success. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Wilder Beast's Thindies was a triumph. It doesn't matter if he never comes up with another idea in his life. Uh, but of course, I still have plenty of ideas. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, for sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. For a moment there, it almost seemed like you were trying to insult me. No, of course not. Well, anyway. Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Loretta looks up to you. All the students do. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big name? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Shit. 
R.C. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Safi, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me, Lucas might shoot me. America has problems. Give it to me. I'll take care of it. Thanks. It's time for the Krampus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanero. Fair warning. He's going to say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beasts Than These. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist, am I right? What do we all think? Ooh! Oh, thank you! At least someone remembers this is a roast. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. You already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. I need to get away with this. You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine, who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. 
She believed in me. I knew this would fucking happen. What are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. This is your chance to tell everyone your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Are you serious right now? If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder Beast All right. Disease will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not past, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it... It wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take... Uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! <laughs> hey! We need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me? I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went.
Oh, hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. Sophie's lucky to have a friend like you. Next beer's on me. Hey. Listen, I get being upset about a B plus from a writer you admire. But wouldn't you rather have that using ones you think he wants? That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Exhausted, I'm sure. It took a lot of courage, what she did. You should get back. She don't need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. 